Hello, my name is David Finlayson with Chesapeake Technology, and today I'd like to show you how colors work in SonarWiz 7.1. Now, when you first bring data into SonarWiz, like the side scan files, uh, SonarWiz will assign a color palette based on the data type that you imported. So there's a default color palette for every single data type that we support. The way you configure that initially is to go to your options up here, then select on sonar color settings. And right here you see a display where for each of the data types that we support, there's side scan, channels one and two, three and four, sub bottoms, channels one and two, then backscatter, bathymetry, standard deviations and densities, etc. For each one of these data types, you can set a default color palette. So here, side scan channel one and two has a default color palette of gray. And we can see that the, the color palette is right side up. You have the option to flip it over or invert it. You, if you want a bipolar color palette, this is used for sub bottom files where you have both positive and negative values and you want, the, you want the color palette to be centered at zero and then the outer limits get colors. This is used mostly for sub bottom. Or you can also have the smooth color scale, which we do want. Uh, which allows the colors to smoothly transition uh, in the color palette itself. So anyway, you can set that up for any one of the data types here. And then when you import one of those data types into SonarWiz, it will be born with that color palette. So that's how you set the default color palette. But of course, you can override that once you've loaded the data into SonarWiz. So here we've got four side scan files and they have the default gray color palette that we set before. Now, the way to override all of these at the same time is to use the color window. The usual way to open the color window is to uh, look at your mapping toolbar, and it's this last icon on the end here, the color window bar. And once that opens up, you can either dock it here or you can drag it around and dock it on the other side, however you like. So the way to override the data is first select your data type. And again, since these are side scan channel one and two, we select the side scan channel one and two data type. Then down here, we're gonna switch this to manual. And now all of these controls are available to you. You can change the color. Maybe we wanna do something a little fancier with like a bronze color scheme. If you want to uh, brighten it up a little bit, you can change how the color bar is mapped to the histogram here. So this histogram shows you all the amplitude, a histogram of all the amplitudes from channels one and two, right there. You can manually set the minimum and max values down here if you want to match some previous uh, settings you had. And here you can smooth it. You can flip the whole color palette upside down. Uh, these buttons here just allow you to quickly zoom the minimum and maximum value. If you want to see all the data, you hit the scale to data button. And that moves the minimum to the minimum value in the data set, which is zero in this case, and the maximum to all the way up to 109,000 on this one. So we, you can tell from the histogram, there's a, quite a few outliers out here. It's way out here in the tail. So you can also hit the scale to best button, which will automatically zoom in to where the majority of your data is located. And you can see it kind of clipped off the tail here, maybe too much. Let's slide that out a little bit. Um, Anyway, this, the coloring is all personal preference, but when you adjust things here in the color window, you're adjusting it for the entire group of channel one and two side scans. And the same is true for all these other data types. There's one for bathymetry, there's one for the sub bottom channels, uh, even some of the statistical grids have standard deviations and densities, etc. Now, let's say there's one file in particular that this uh, group setting is just not working for, or you want to change the color entirely. And in 7.1, you can actually override these colors and color each file individually if you want to. So the way you do that is you select the file that you're interested in overriding. So here it's highlighted in the Project Explorer. Then go down here to your Properties window and go to Display. And what you'll notice down here is a checkbox that says Use Global Color Group. When that is checked, that means that this file is going to pay attention to these settings over here in the color in the color bar or the color window over here. If you want to override them, you just uncheck this box, and now all of these become available. And you can see uh, I have some 
color scale bar now called Navaplot. You could change it to Lava if you want, or let's see, that's too close to the others. Maybe you want something like this uh, that's red and green. Uh, you can change the minimum max values. In fact, you can even open up the same type of dialog. You'll see there's a little um, three dots icon here. If you click that button, it opens up the scale properties window, which is very similar to the, the color window, but it only applies to this one file. And it has all the same buttons. You can drag and drop, adjust the, the see the histogram, etc. And that would allow you to override it for the whole file. Now, if you want to regroup this back in with all the rest of the channel one and two side scans, all you do is go back to the use color group again and click that. And now you can see these have been grayed out and they're no longer active and it's going to switch over to start using the group color palette back here again. Now every single data type in SonarWiz has these display properties like this. So you'll notice that uh, bathymetry files will be colored by the bathymetry group here. So if we go to bathymetry, now change this to manual. Now we can adjust uh, the bathy files however we want. And of course, if you select them, go to display, you can uncheck this box and then override how the depth data and the backscatter data are going to be displayed. Um, same thing with grids. Typically with grids, they don't. They're in 7.1. They're not tied to any particular group by default. They're usually left unchecked. So if we look at a grid here, here's an amplitude grid. And we're going to turn off the side scan file. So now we're just looking at a grid of the amplitude data. We select that, go to display. You'll see it's not, it's not coupled to the group amplitudes. It's all on its own. And we can just change that to something else. Usually. Bathy backscatter for some reason is usually grays and whites like this. Um, but that's how colors work in Sonar with 7.1. So you have three options. The first one is go up here and define your default color palettes, however you like for your project. And then all new data as, that comes in will be assigned to these color palettes. Uh, if you want to make adjustments to the whole group, you use the color window here, and that allows you to make bulk adjustments to all your bathymetry files or all your side scan files at the same time. And then if there's a particular file that you want to override or you want it to look different than all the rest, just go down here, select the file, go to the use color group and uncheck that and then you can override and set it exactly how you want for that particular file. If you'd like to learn more about SonarWiz, please visit us at www.chesapeaketech.com. There you'll find links to other videos like this one, and you can contact us about our next available training workshop near you. Thanks for watching.